Hi dear friends and subscribers, uh, welcome to the Cricket Happening Show with your host Ram. Uh, two matches we are going to look at. Uh, one is the third day's play where India is once again struggling in the third test at the Oval, uh, in the fourth test rather at the Oval and probably India are looking at a 4-0 uh, whitewash uh, in this particular series, in the end power test series here. And as far as the fourth one-day international between Australia and Sri Lanka were concerned, well Australia have won the series against Sri Lanka by actually uh, getting a 3-1 lead with one more match to go which would be starting on 22nd of August and this was a very easy victory for Australia. Yes, they did have a brief uh, stutter uh, when uh, the debutant, 26-year-old leg spinner debutant Sekuge Prasanna who was blooded in this uh, uh, Sri Lankan team today picked up uh, three wickets in one over and that was a triple wicket made an over for him. Well, so first and foremost, let me start off with this match. Uh, Australia were the ones who actually were, in fact, it was Sri Lankans who, Sri Lanka were the ones who actually won the toss and chose to bat. This was played at the uh, very popular Premadasa Stadium in Colombo and it was a huge disappointment for all the uh, fans that, that, that had come gathered there on a weekend here and Australia won this match uh, very comfortably in the end by five wickets. Sri Lanka were the ones who were put into bat today and Sri Lanka uh, totally looked a unit uh, which was uh, without any ammunition actually and uh, they got rolled out for 132 by Australia. Uh, the, key, the key architects of this uh, bowling display for Australia were Brett Lee, 6.4 overs, one maiden, 15 runs and 4 wickets is best against Sri Lanka and uh, career figures for Xavier Doherty, 10 overs, no maiden, 4 for 28 and incidentally Xavier Doherty uh, also had the, the, the previous four wicket back was also against Sri Lanka so that was a real coincidence there and Xavier Doherty bowled superbly in fact he was given the man of the match uh, for his splendid bowling because what he did is uh, he, he put a spanner in the works of Sri Lanka when they were consolidating with uh, Sangakkara and Jayavardhane at the crease and then everything went haywire for Sri Lanka so that was the turning point in the game when Xavier Doherty picked up those quick wickets but uh, Brettley also bowled very well uh, right in the beginning and he came in the middle to pick up a vital wicket of uh, Mahila Jayavardhane uh, and also in the end. Now just talking about this innings, uh, the, the innings really had no momentum there. Uh, Tilkar Dilshan and Taranga started, uh, Dilshan made uh, 12 runs, he was the first wicket to go when he was uh, caught behind of the bowling of Bollinger for 12 and Upal Taranga had his stumps rearranged by Brettley, uh, out for a, a very fiery Yorker from Brettley and Taranga was gone for 8. Uh, Sangakra and Jayavardhane combined into a good partnership that uh, pulled down the score from 24 for 2 to 95 with some uh, very neat placements and also some uh, uh, key shots uh, in the middle of the innings. But then uh, uh, after then as I said, as I said, uh, Xavier Doherty came in, the left arm spinner uh, and uh, suddenly he picked up Sangakra's wicket as uh, Sangakra tried trying to uh, hit him was uh, caught by Brettley of the bowling of Doherty for 31 of 56 balls with 1-4 and after that Jayavardhane couldn't get any support. Chamara Silva in the same over was LB, LBW ball Doherty. This was an arm delivery from Chamara Silva, oh, sorry from Doherty which uh, as you know the arm delivery from left arm spinner goes straight on and Chamara Silva was trapped LBW by Doherty for a duck. Angelo Matthews was uh, stumped by Haddon of the bowling of Doherty. So probably in fact nobody could actually uh, stay with Mila Jayavardhane. So that was the real problem. And then uh, wickets uh, kept on tumbling. Eranga, Shaminda Eranga was out for N1 when Brettley took his wicket. Kulishekra was LBW ball, Watson for 7. Uh, Sikunge Prasanna debutant was LBW ball, Doherty for a duck. Uh, and in the end, um, Lasit Malinga had his uh, stumps uh, knocked back by Brettley with a Yorker. And uh, Sri Lanka were all out for 132. Jayavardhane was uh, caught uh, trying to just up the tempo there. He was caught and bowled by Brettley for 53 of 102 balls with 4 fours. 132 all out Sri Lanka. Uh, bowling figures are already spoken about. As far as Australian innings were concerned, it was, uh, they, as I said, it was a very easy victory for them. 133 for 5 in 28 overs. Uh, Sean Mars today uh, was uh, opening the innings with uh, Shane Watson. Uh, the reason being that Brad Haddon has not had a good run at all. So Brad Haddon came lower down the order today. Shane Watson and uh, Mars uh, opened up the innings. And in fact, uh, Malinga gave them an early breakthrough uh, with the score on 26 when. Uh, uh, Watson actually tried to loft Malinga over mid on. Mendes took the catch and he was gone for 12. Uh, Ricky Ponting uh, fell in the uh, fell in the same over to the fifth delivery of Malinga when Ricky Ponting played a very soft ball dismissal as Ponting actually got a full toss 
a slow full toss which uh, Ponting actually gave a very dolly catch to uh, Prasanna there at mid wicket and he was gone for a duck and Australia were 26 for 2. So after that Sean Marsh and Michael Clark joined. Sean Marsh was superb. He was playing some exquisite strokes today. His driving was very good. His cutting and pulling was uh, of the highest of highest quality I would say and then uh, he, uh, he I mean he was um, forming a very good partnership with uh, Michael Clark and they had pushed down the score from 26 to 123 it was a 97 run partnership which actually gave Australia the victory and that was the time uh, it was Sean Marsh after contributing 70 and this was the over from Sekuge Prasanna uh, the debutant who was bowling today so a 26 year old debutant leg spinner uh, was given an opportunity and well um, initially he didn't look so good I mean he didn't he was not looking very impressive but when he came on for his uh, for the over that he was bowling that was probably the fifth or sixth over uh, he immediately uh, rattled the Australians uh, they had nothing to worry about because the score was almost safe 123 but uh, he had a triple wicket made an over uh, the first to go there was uh, it was uh, Sean Marsh who actually uh, what caught behind of the bowling of Prasanna for 70 of 80 balls with 11 fours and 1 six uh, the Hussey brothers followed uh, with Michael Hussey going the very next delivery uh, caught by Sangakra of the bowling of Prasanna this was a ball which turned from Prasanna and uh, David Hussey uh, the, uh, after playing uh, actually avoiding the hat-trick ball was a, a clean ball by Prasanna trying to cut and he was gone for a duck and uh, Sekukge Prasanna the debutant leg spinner from Sri Lanka uh, was very impressive 6 hours 1 made in 3 for 32 and uh, at the sc with the score on 123 uh, there were 3 wickets which gone and it was reduced to 123 for 5 but uh, there were no other alarms there Michael Clark was not out on 38 of 60 balls with 5 fours he was uh, uh, some played some bold strokes in his 38 and Brad Haddon was not out on 5 with the winning run it was all over for Sri Lanka as Australia um, actually took the series 3-1 with one more to go on 22nd of uh, August that is on a Monday uh, yeah that's on the 22nd of August as far as the bowling figures are concerned Malinga was the pick 7 hours 2 minutes 2 for 18 with Sekou get Prasanna uh, Mendis Bowl 7 hours none for 31, Dilshan 2 hours none for 17, Kulashekra none for 13 and Shaminda Aranga 4 hours no maiden uh, none for 16. So that was the uh, match as far as uh, the Sri Lanka versus Australia ODI were concerned. Now I am going to talk to you about the Empower Test Series uh, between India and England uh, which, um, which England definitely took the honours. They had a massive score today once more. Uh, Rain actually stopping play and then uh, Andrew Strauss the captain was forced to declare. Uh, today's feature was uh, a double century, a maiden double century from Ian Bell who had some silken touch and played some silk strokes I would say and he contributed 235 out of a score of 591 uh, after Peterson's 175 yesterday. 235 was a mammoth effort, 235 of 364 balls, 23 fours and two sixes for Ian Bell. What a knock from him and uh, well uh, today Sri Sant was the best bowler, he picked up some wickets there. Uh, James Anderson was uh, caught by Lakshman of the ball, uh, in the slips of the bowling of Sri Sant for 13. Ian Morgan uh, played away from his body, caught by Dhoni of the bowling of Shreesan for one uh, and uh, that was it and after that uh, Ian Bell himself fell when Shuresh Rana nipped his wicket for 235 and uh, that was the time the score was five. I mean it was uh, 548 uh, and then Ravi Bopara took this opportunity and was looking good probably would have liked to uh, because uh, the batting was so easy probably would have liked to score a century or so but uh, well as says rain stopped play on day three and uh, only at the fag end of the day uh, play was possible and that is the reason uh, Andrew Strauss declared it was the right uh, way to go. Ravi Popara was not out on 44 at the time with three boundaries. Matt Pryor was not out on 18 and bowling was nothing to talk about. 3 for 123 for Shreesan and 2 for 58 for Shreya Shraina. 591 for 6 declared England but let us talk about India. India once again com uh, continued the dismal run in this series and within the save arc started off in fact the first two balls outside the off from Anderson um, was a real, uh, uh, really a very tough one for Seva. But after that, Seva crashed two boundaries, and that was all over. As James Anderson was too smart for him, got a ball uh, on the middle end leg to pitch in, and that's it. Seva was got trapped. LBW by Anderson for eight, and Seva continued his poor run. Eight for one for India. Dravid and Lakshman at the crease, and Lakshman uh, was gone, caught by Prior of the bowling of Prior, uh, chasing an outgoing delivery. He was gone for two. Tendulkar came in, probably. Uh, thinking that uh, he's getting another two chances to score his 100th century but probably uh, that, I mean that didn't happen as Tendulkar was also gone uh, Dravid was the one who was looking like a rock there and still there not out on 57 at close of play Tendulkar was gone today uh, the spinners were the ones uh, every time we ha India had the problem with the pace bowlers but today it was Graham Swan 10 overs 3 minutes 27 runs and 3 wickets he first picked up Tendulkar 
uh, as you know, Swan is actually, uh, you know, turning the ball from the foot marks and the pitch he's wearing. Uh, it's the fourth day, as you know, it rains and it dries out. The spinners could be quite a handful and that's what Swan has done. In fact, he picked up the wicket of Sachin Tendulkar who tried to sweep. Top is the ball. Anderson took the catch. He was gone for 23 with four boundaries. Suresh Raina disappointed once again. Uh, he was dragged out of the crease by Graham Swan and he was gone for a duck. And Ishan Sharma, the ninth watchman of Sand, but of no avail. As Ishan Sharma was gone, uh, caught by forward shot like a cook of the bowling of Swan for one. And that was all over for India. 103 for 5 India finished with and the, at stumps on day 3 uh, with Dravid looking like a rock and played some beautiful strokes in his score of 57 of 108 balls which contained very very well struck 9 boundaries. It was really fun to watch Dravid clipping off the legs, uh, caressing the ball uh, through the offside and Dhoni was not out on 5. 103 for 5 for India. A mammoth task once again. It looks like one more writing is on the wall for India as far as the uh, fourth test is concerned and probably India is going to get a 4-0 hiding from England because it's going to be very difficult to survive. The reason that I'm telling you that is that Graham Swan is turning the ball uh, from the foot marks and um, it's going to be very, very difficult to survive on this pitch. And uh, Sachin Tendulkar had already mentioned about that in the first day itself and it is going to be very difficult. So uh, it was Graham Swan all the way, 10 hours to 3 for 27. Anderson got Sevaks wicket, 5 hours, 1 minute, 1 for 21. Stuart Broad uh, got Lakshman's wicket, 10 hours, 1 minute, 22 runs, 1 wicket. Brassman 7 hours, no made in 1 for 25, and 1 over for 3 runs for Kevin Peterson. As I said, it is going to be a very, very tall task. They are, they are still um, a long way behind. Uh, they have probably, uh, it is, they need over 400 and, uh, in fact, the first thing would be to avoid the follow-on, that would be 391. Even that is far-fetched because right now they trail by 488 runs. Uh, so India continuing the very, very dismal form in this series. Uh, probably, uh, I think the writing is again on the wall for India. Uh, it is going to be some Herculean effort needed from the Indian batsmen to actually save this match. That's it from me, your host Ram, for the Cricket Happening Show for today. See you all in my next show. Thank you.